Hi, everybody. Today, I will ask you to give me a bit of your bit. Imagine you are in Vienna in the New Year's Day, and you are listening to the Philharmonic Orchestra concert. After a while, you realize that people start clapping to the music. Please, can everybody clap to the music? Please, everybody, please. What happened here? Everyone clapped synchronized, but there was no music. This is the main focus of my research, to understand how we are able to synchronize with each other to the rhythms of the music. So it doesn't matter if you come from a tribe and you perform ritual dances, or if you decide to go to a nightclub to dance after a while, of listening to the music, you will start moving, following the beat of the music. Our brain processes this information through different senses, auditory, visual, tactile, but in the end, all the information is transformed into neural oscillations. And we can record them. We can use electroencephalography. This is putting electrodes on the scalp of the people to record how the electrical signal changes over time. We apply a frequency analysis on that, and we can see some peaks. These peaks are very relevant because they relate to the frequency of the beat, so we can detect the beat of the music in the brain. In fact, we can also detect the beat of the meter. The meter is how you group the beat, like one, two, three, one, two, three. This is a ternary meter, like a valse. Okay, so far, using this approach, we can study beat and meter in the visual modality or in the auditory space. In our first experiment, we asked musicians to look at the linking flash, and we found that the neurons synchronized to the flash. Then we asked them to imagine, just imagine a ternary meter on the same visual flash. And we found a peak appearing at the frequency of the meter. So we could find meter in the visual modality. In a second study, we presented participants with sounds alternating in space, like left, right, right, left, right, right. Also a ternary pattern. And we found a peak appearing at this frequency. What was interesting here is that we compared musicians and non-musicians, and we found that the peaks for musicians were higher, meaning that there were more neural populations synchronizing to the rhythms. Good, but is that the full story? Are we alone? No. You can go to the animal research, and you see that a lot of researchers studied bears, non-human mo primates, monkeys, pinnipeds, to see how other animals deal with the rhythms of the music. In our case, we studied a rodent model, rats. We took 32 rats and, untra and trained them to distinguish between regular sounds and irregular sounds. How? We presented beep, 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 food reward. Beep, 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 no food reward. After a lot of training sessions, we created new stimuli at faster or slower tempo, and we found that rats asked for food more often for the regular ones, so they could discriminate regularity in the stimuli. Good. So far, I, I have studied the dealing of the animals with the rhythms of the music, beat, regularity, also how beat and meter relates to the space, like when you are in the cinema or in a concert hall, or what happens to your brain when you are watching two rhythms, like when watching dance. So thank you so much for your time, and thanks for giving me your beat.